this. Millions watching across the world. On the biggest stage. Every single player out here, an absolute gamer, Jack. We've never seen anything like this. Welcome back to the Fortnite World Cup. We're here today for the duos competition. 10 weeks of competition leads to this. The Fortnite World Cup Finals duo competition begins right now. Best players we've ever seen in any lobby, literally ever. And we're here along with Literally 18,000 people at Arthur Ashe Stadium. We've got one final group of duos to let on the floor. It's going to be Serpent and Hype, Wolfies and Rojo, Skite and Vato, Four Winds and Tux, Kluja and Thomas HD, and then finally Puzz and Ming. I mean, there's so many players in here you can call out. Serpent and Hype were the original. Can you translate it to Sunday? They won so many of those semifinals, and in the last week, we're able to do it. I got an opportunity to actually talk with Rojo in the practice room, and he says he's excited to be here, wants to play, wants to get on the stage, and knows he'll be able to enact their game plan. He wouldn't tell me what it was, and I wouldn't leak it anyway. Though the stream duo, kind of a little bit of parody there between Vinny and Zexro, Skype battling a ton of wrist issues and then able to overcome it. And it, I got to speak with him as well. And he's like, I'm just happy. Yeah. I, I'm glad I'm here, man. And there was a fantastic post he did about it. Yeah, he had that twit longer where he basically went through how he lost his confidence because of his wrist issue and then gained it back because of the support of all you guys at home who supported Skype through his journey and the French community doing so as well. Moving on forward, Vorwin and Tux, somebody I think is very interesting because they qualified and moved through the entire, uh, they, they switched duos at the last second, so same thing. And then you have Klusha, a player who qualified as well for the solo competition, and Thomas, his partner from Singularity. And the final duo, Puzz and Ming, representing from South Korea. Unfortunately, there was an Asian team who was unable to make it. Puzz and Ming having won in the Week 8 qualifier where there wasn't an additional spot. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been driving for perfection to achieve greatness. I'm still only 17 years old, so there's still a long time to make my mark in the world. Through Fortnite, I have found a passion that excites me daily and that has given me a lot of new friendships all across the world. Being at the first Fortnite World Cup has given me new energy and motivation to become the best Fortnite player in the world. And I welcome everyone on my journey to the top of the scene. Exploring New York together with my family has been such a great experience and the support they have shown me here means so much to me. I have had the chance to be on national television and tell about my journey to and at the Fortnite World Cup which was something I never thought would happen through gaming. But it was a fun experience and hopefully I will have more great results in the future that can feature me in the mainstream media. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. The Fortnite World Cup Finals Solos competition kicks off today. 40 million players competed to try to qualify for this day right now. Only 100 players remain. History will be made. Lives will change. Game one of six officially underway and on your screen, all 100 players. Arguably the biggest day of their entire lives. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been motivated to achieve greatness and explore the world. Qualifying for New York was one of the biggest achievements of my life, and I hope that the event was just the start of more great Fortnite events to come, and for me to show my potential. I am a bit disappointed with my performance, but it's the 100 best solo players in the world, and just being among these high skilled talents, it's an achievement to be proud of. Screams and practice in Brazil and SA in general aren't as good as the other regions, so for me this has been a truly incredible experience and a great practice. At the World Cup, I've met a lot of new friends, but also have been a great opportunity to connect with the other top players from our region, and we've had so much fun together. 
Being at the first Fortnite World Cup has given me so much renewed energy and drive to become the greatest Fortnite player in the world. And I welcome everyone to be part of my journey to the top of the scene.